guys, welcome back to Word of Advice TV where your time is invested and not wasted. So recently I had a problem with my oven where one of the burners was not lighting. So it was sparking, you could hear it go tick, 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 tick. And you could even hear the gas, you know, fuming out, but nothing was lighting. Oh, and just so you know, just kind of throwing that out there, when one of them sparks, all of them spark. And if you look on the bottom here, you can actually see the spark. Like that. So right now, even even though I only have one on, on the light position, all four of them are sparking. So if your burner is ticking like that, non-stop, and not turning on, or if it does turn on eventually, but it takes it a very long time before it lights, here is what you can do to remedy that. And by the way, if you want a really fast fix, all you need to do is just turn on your gas, and take a long shaft lighter, or even a short lighter if you're brave enough, and just poof, and it'll light right up. Uh, but anyways, to fix that, what you'll need to do is take the burner cap off, and then your burner, some of them have screws in there, you might have to take screws out, mine don't, my screws are underneath here. There's that spark igniter, or the spark electrode, and there's your burner. So sometimes what happens is, right here, you see a little slot, or a hole, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but sometimes that gets plugged up. You could take a toothpick or a little pick and pick that little thing out. Um, also, all these grooves right here on the side, this is where the gas comes out from. And sometimes there's gunk that gets built up in here as well. And if there's enough stuff that's built in in here, the gas won't have anywhere to come out from. So sometimes half of your burner will light or other times it just won't light at all. Um, also, if you see that little notch on top there, that's where the spark is sparking. So your sparker should be sparking to the top. Most burners will have that little notch or a rivet up on top there where the spark will go. So if you have gunk in here, all you got to do is get some sandpaper. That's what I usually use. You could use whatever you want just to clean those holes out. And just go between each of the slots and clean each one of them out. Or once again, you could use the pick. And then when I was having this problem, I cleaned every one of my burners like this. And after that, voila, no more problems. Thing works like a champ. I haven't had problems with it for over a month now. Um, and one more thing you should know. If you look down in there, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but there's the orifice. A tiny hole down there. I've seen it a couple times before where a spider actually gets down there and makes a web, and that thing is completely sealed off. So what you do in that case is literally take a toothpick, jam it in there, spin it around, and take that web out, and your burner is gonna work like a champ. And I, there you have it. If you have burners that don't work, cleaning them up like that should get you right back in business. Well guys, hopefully that'll help some of you. Um, if you're still having problems with your oven or your range, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. And if you have success stories of how you fixed your own oven whenever it wasn't working, do share with us in the comments below as well. Maybe you'll help somebody out by sharing. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to mash that like button. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.